Hey guys, it's Megan from A New Box of Crayons, um, and I'm here today to show you how to create a Google Form that can be used for a bathroom checkout like it is in my classroom. Um, you could use it for a library check-in and check-out system. Um, you could honestly use it for almost anything you can put your mind to. Um, it's fairly simple and it's really easy to manage so I'm going to show you how to do that um, and doing this little tutorial video was way easier than me trying to type it out for you and make you read it. So here's for all my visual learners. Yay! Here's <laughs> This should make it a lot easier for you. So the first thing you want to do is log into whatever email you're going to be on during the day at school. Um, if it's not a Gmail account, I don't know if that will work, but if it is a Gmail account, this will make your life 10 times easier. Here we go. So the first thing you want to do is go over to these little tiny squares up by your name and click on those. Once you've clicked on those, you're going to go to your drive and wait for it to load. Once you're in your drive, you are going to create something new. Um, and what you're going to create is a Google Form. Meh, I don't want to do any of that. Okay, here we go. I am going to title my form um, Bathroom Checkout. And I could probably put like the school year or the class. Um, if you're doing a high school class, you could totally have different pages set up for that. Um, but right now we're just going to keep it plain and simple because that's how first grade works. So uh, I titled it first grade, or not first grade, but bathroom checkout. Um, in this untitled question area, I put for my students, I asked them to find your name. Then you're going to go down to the question type. Here is where um, you have lots of different options. So if you have intermediate students that are capable of typing or you want them to work on their typing skills, um, you can have them do a text where they type in their name. It's totally possible. Um, you could do check, bo check boxes, which are those little tiny boxes. Um, I stayed away from that simply because it's overwhelming for some of my kiddos to look at all of the names in the classroom. So what I did is I had them, my students choose from a list. Then I simply went through and entered names of my students. I typed them correctly though because that's important. So <clears throat> we're going to pretend I have all of my names entered Clearly, I would have more than five kids in my class, I would hope. Um, the one thing that I didn't do the first time I made my form was check this nifty little box. Um, it's a required question. If you don't click that, that means that your kid can submit any form without any response, which means you don't have the name of the child that went to the bathroom, and that kind of defeats the whole purpose of this form. So make sure you check the required question box down here. Once you have that done, you click done. This is a simple plain version of what your form will look like. Now if you want to make it all cutesy and fun and everything you can go up here and change your theme and you have lots of fun ones you can choose from. You could do a skyline. Uh, this is the one that I have for my classroom. Kids love it. You just I mean you have a whole bunch of themes to choose from. If you really wanted to spend all day picking a bathroom theme for your checkout system, you totally could. Um, so once that's done, and you've picked your cutified bathroom theme, you can view your live form. This is going to take you to what it's going to look like on your um, iPod, iPhone. Okay. Once you have checked or completed your bathroom checkout form, Go back to your drive and click on your bathroom checkout.
you want to make sure that you have created a new spreadsheet that is your bathroom checkout responses. You need to create a spreadsheet. And the really nifty thing about this is when you go back to your drive, oh, once we get going, oh, there it is, yay! You will have a bathroom checkout Excel sheet that will then have the names of the students and everything from a timestamp, the name of the student, the date, all of that. Pretty nifty. So, we are going to go to our view live form. We're going to take this code up here and copy it. And then go to QR stuff or whatever QR generator you like to use. And you're going to paste that code into here. Now, I like to use a dynamic code where it shortens it and it makes the QR code a little less bulky. Um, sometimes it gets a little complicated for the QR reader to read those really intense codes, so I simplify it. <clears throat> now, here's where you can also make it cute. You can make it green, you can make it blue, um, whatever you want to do. We're going to make a blue one. I'm going to click download my QR code and it pops up right here. How cool! <coughs> Excuse me. Now, here is where you will want to print it or save it because um, you don't want to lose this. You can even go and rename your QR code. So your, I want to keep the PNG, otherwise I won't be able to find it. Bathroom QR code. Done. Okay. Once I have that all set up, now the fun part begins. I get to take out my phone or whatever device I'm going to use. On the screen I'm going to show you your bathroom checkout form and what it's going to look like. Um, you're not going to be able to see me scan this QR code. I'm going to set it over here. Um, the app that I find to be most trustworthy um, or to work the best for things like this is called Enigma. Um, Enigma is a free app in the App Store on any iPhone and it kind of has this weird like orange and red image um, and it's really really simple for smaller kids or smaller hands to hold up a bigger tablet or iPad um, and scan something without being straight on the QR code. So you're gonna hear my phone ding and then I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing on my phone. All right. Once your students scan the QR code, they're going to have to hit a gray button that says go online. Go online will then take them to your Google form to fill out. So I got to my Google form with the pretty gold paper stuff. I'm going to select my name from the list and hit submit, which is really important. I have a lot of kids that forget to submit their name. Then I'm done. And you saw that on December 2nd, I went to the bathroom at 10.09 Central Time. So, really, really nifty, really, really simple. Um, it's a great way to keep track of bathroom things. I started this because we had boys um, that were deciding to finger paint in the bathroom. Um, we also had boys that were having a contest to see who could, uh, let's see, how do I say this? They were trying to fill a hole in the wall, like in the wall, not on the floor, but in, in the wall, there was a hole where a pipe had fallen. Um, they were, or been taken out, I guess. That's, that's, that was fun um, for them. So this spreadsheet 
uh, has been shared, which you can do over here. It is shared with our custodian of our school, and it is also shared with my principal. So if anything arises, which um, I had some boys get caught, yay for that. Um, <laughs> this came in really handy when they had it down to the kids that were between the, in the bathroom between one o'clock and two o'clock. It was really easy for them to go see who was in the bathroom frequently from my classroom or had been in there at least once. Um, it just came in really handy and it actually has completely eliminated our finger painting problems and the filling of the hole in the wall. So yay for problem solving and boys in bathrooms. So there you go. That is how you create a QR code um, for a Google form. Um, I am also working on using one for my library checkout system um, because I'm losing books and we all know that teachers love their books. So I hope this has come in handy. Um, if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you some pictures of how it looks in my classroom. And I hope that if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to contact me. I would be more than happy to help you out. I have some quick photos to show you what it looks like in my classroom. For instance, um, here is my really cute Google form on an iPad with all of my students' names. Um, I also have bathroom passes. Um, so this is an instance like the boys will hang the boys pass on the hook so I know that the boy is out of, or a boy is out of the room. And I simply just cut out our QR code and stuck it to my door frame. It makes life really, really easy. Um, and this is kind of a little table. Of course, it's zebra. Um, I have a little basket that holds my iPad. And then I also have the passes. As soon as someone comes back, they set it back on the table so people know that um, the bathrooms are available for them. So, again, contact me if you have any questions. Thank you for listening to me ramble on for however many minutes it's been now. Um, and I hope you found this helpful. So have a wonderful day, month, year, um, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Bye.